Hi there, this is Lisa from Canine Clips, and this is Jessica. And Jessica is going to help me demonstrate how to uh, groom a Shih Tzu's face um, that is quite, um, I guess, quite teared up. So it's quite stained in there, and there's a lot of buildup. And uh, that's what she's going to help me with. She's a little bit difficult as well to do. And she likes to move around. She's a little older. Um, so I will be showing some moves as well for when I'm holding her to get those tearing out. And just some techniques that I use during that. So hopefully um, that will help you as well. So to start, I get my scissors. And I try holding her on the jawline. But she is resistant. Oh, now she's going to be nice. Oh, there we go. So when uh, she does pull back... I do kind of release a little bit because um, she is a bit older as well so but as you can as with all Shih Tzu I guess not all but most Shih Tzus they have a little bit of fold of skin in the in around their eyes so when she moves up like that obviously it's kind of hard for me to get in there because you have to be careful where your ends of your scissors are. So I do maneuver my table a little bit up and down. But eventually, I have to get a little cuddly with her, which I will show you here. All right, so I put my hand above, around her body, and kind of push her down, so I, it's my weight on her. And it just kind of stabilizes her because she's still in, in my armpit there. And I still have my um, fingers around her jawline. So you can see that she can still move. So it's not going to stabilize her completely. But it just lets her know that um, this is what we are doing, my girl. So she needs to stay still a little bit. Especially getting in those folds around the eyes. So again, you want to make sure you know where your ends of your clip, uh, scissors are at all times. So that you're going slowly, and you make little little snips. There you go, it's okay. So again, her throat is open, and I just have a little bit of weight on her back and shoulders to help her settle. And then when she does pull back, it's, I'm just holding on to the jawline. So again, she has full, nothing's constricting her throat, but it's letting her know that I am in, I am in control of what we're doing today. Jessica actually comes in quite regularly for her face, about every month to month and a half. She just has heavy tearing um, and staining in that time, so. This is actually a good day. She's usually much more caked up than this, so. And usually I'll trim it down um, as far as I can. And then same thing, you can put your hand on the back of their head, just to, it'll kind of calm them a little bit. It's okay. And I do have a table that moves up and down, so that does assist me as well, hi. Okay. All right, so that's the one side. So of course one side is always going to be easier than another side. Oh, she left me a little present here. There we go. Okay, so the other side Usually, if you can get the first side, the second side, they may stay a little bit better for you. Oh, I guess that's hard for you to see. There we go. Sorry about that. So again, I'm just holding on to the back of the jaw on each side so that she can breathe. Because you do not want to restrict the breathing. 
And when she does pull away, I kind of move my scissors away. And she's not very um, interested in me doing that. And um, I have been doing this for 15 years. So it does get better over time, but it does take um, quite a few times to get to this um, where you're comfortable, of course, around the face and such. So it is okay if it takes you a long time. It's just following through on it because the dog will learn that if you stop when they fidget, for instance, it'll just encourage them to fidget more. It's okay, <laughs> Jessica. Oh, I'll listen for a second, eh? There we go. She is slipping here, too. So I'm going to hopefully let her lay down, but I don't think she wants to. All right, so I'm going to do that other maneuver again so I can get between her eyes a little bit better. It's okay. There we go. And around her lips so that her hair isn't in her mouth. You can see there's a little bit, sorry, I know it's hard to catch it off. I'm going to move it back a little bit so maybe we can get it off. You can see there's a little bit of um, hair in her mouth when she licks. So I do try to get that out as well. But again, be very careful for when that tongue comes out. Okay, baby. <laughs> and my thumb is just right under her her jaw, well, jaw, I guess, so that she can still breathe. It's not on her throat. Her throat's down there because I don't want to push on that. There we go. There we go. And that's... I still have to give her a bath yet, um, and the bath will help loosen, loosen some stuff off. But if you're not giving a bath, um, you can use a paper towel with wet, with water, and just get in there to help loosen anything off. They don't mind it. It can go on the eye too, because it doesn't scratch. And it kind of can move all the stuff around so that you can see a little bit better of what's going on in there. So when I do bath, I do kind of rub in the eyes so that see, it takes a little bit more of that gunk coat. And just get in between the folds because the folds are um, can hold a lot of debris in them, as we can see here. There's the camera. There we go. All right. So that's her face right now so um see and then plus when you bath her and stuff sometimes the stuff out of her mouth will come you can see this nice big long string well maybe you can't but there is a nice one that came out and um yeah so that's just a rough rough one of grooming a shih tzu's face who may be a little bit difficult but also has lots of tearing and build up and doesn't like it to be done. So you will all have um, sore hands after this. <laughs> and uh, just from holding that, it does um, get your hands quite sore. Um, but 
the dogs look much prettier and they're happier because they can see and it's a lot less itchy in there. So I hope this helps you in grooming your dog. And if you have any comments or questions or if you'd like to see something specific, please let me know and uh, leave me a message. I will respond and I also will try to get that video on for you. Please subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this and tips on grooming um, without restraints as I have never and never will use restraints on a dog. And uh, thanks for watching and I hope you keep watching. Have a good day.